There we are. It is day two of the master's level road trip here. We are doing a, our adventure up 395, my buddy Frank and I. First day was a travel day and we got up to Lake Sabrina this morning. Frank slept in a little bit and I woke up at 4.30 a.m. and hit one of my absolute favorite spots, a little pond, and had some great action. We're gonna stop and pitch up and get some supplies and uh, grab lunch and then head on up 395. We are at the bridge. Last night, the uh, campground attendant <laughs> stopped by and asked him, hey, where's the good fishing? And he looked at me like an absolute moron. It was just like, the bridge. So we are at the bridge. Look up! There we go! Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> He's got me good. We're gonna bail and take him downstream. That's a pretty fish. Man, that's a good one. Oh, bite and hit and on. They're all in that little pocket. Oh, that's a good one. All right, back at the spot here. Oh. There we go. Oh, he's all lit up. It's another good one.
There he goes. Hey Matt, you out there? Copy, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Did you so what do you think, you wanna stay here one more night or should we strike camp? I think we should stay here one more night. Feeling better, the fishing slowed down, I got one more. But this whole stretch looks awesome. The country's beautiful and we're already set. Sounds good to me, all right. Oh, we just had a follower right there. Big healthy rainbow trout came right up after that one. That one was hard to feel. Oh, it's a bigger one? No, it's just stuck in the current. Stalker. I think part of the problem right now is just the visibility of the water. It's just a little dirty. And I assume that makes it a little trickier for them to find the baits. So being back in that zone. There we are. They're right there in that little pocket. This one's a fighter. That didn't last one by a bit. All right, that's the limit. That's a daily limit, at least, of keepers. That's five, they're all cotton release. Let's see if we can get double limits. I may come back here tonight and catch one for dinner. I haven't had trout in probably 25 years. There's number seven, I think. That's another one, they're getting bigger. All right, new game plan. We're gonna mark this one on the GPS. I am not gonna catch any more right now because I think I'm gonna come back and catch one for dinner here in the afternoon. And I don't wanna lockjaw all the fish. So we're gonna call it, but there's this little hole right there and it's just underneath that sandbar. So, mark this on the GPS and we're coming back. Well, we are camped here on the Walker River, right below the town of Walker. Rolled in late last night, well not too late. Checked out another campground, but it looked like a horror movie was about to go down there. So we uh, decided to go with this one right next to the Walker River. Chef Frank, cooking up some fine Greek cuisine from the Costco. Lots of shade, lots of birds, and a nice little breeze. Pretty cool. I think tonight we're gonna do a catch. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're out in the wilderness, you know? No, it sounds like I'm in like, like Santa River Lakes. Yeah. 
I think tonight the plan is going to be to do a catch cook and clean with a rainbow trout. I have not caught and cooked a rainbow trout in my entire life. Uh, my pops used to do it back when we'd come up here as kids. And I wasn't a huge trout fan, but 20 years have gone by and we're going to see what the fuss is all about. So I'm going to eat a little lunch, edit a little video, and then uh, head out for the afternoon bite here in a little bit. Tasty. So tasty. The joy of trout fishing. This is that creek right by our campsite. It actually flows into the river. There's another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, buddy. That was a spirited one. Take it easy, buddy. Alright, we're back at the first spot in the morning here, and there are a couple guys actually down at the very, very part of that that I started at. So we're gonna go right here on the sandbar, and simple, simple mission here just to get dinner, get the heck out of here. There we are, that's dinner. All right, buddy. Going back to clean fish and then chill out and cook one. This will be the first trout I've ever cooked. Well, we're back for the cook portion of this. We skipped the cleaning because it's disgusting, uh, but we're gonna cook it up right now. So we have ingredients here. First one is gonna be one very dead trout. This one is not coming back. I heard, I was watching a YouTube video and he was saying you gotta wipe the slime off, makes it tastier. I figured we'll try that. 
And then in there we're gonna put some, a couple of tabs of butter. We're gonna do a couple slices of lemon and some salt and pepper. Wrap it up, throw it on the fire and try it. Veterans of the channel will recognize that sound from our Usol Beach Lost Coast. That is Mr. Frank with his axe. Now somebody got over his crap in that video comment about not knowing how to use an axe. Word to your mom. Oh yeah, that juice be bubbling. Alright, well I'm pretty excited. It's like Christmas morning here. Let's see what's inside. Mm-hmm. I know some people love the skin. I am not a skin guy. That's pretty good. Yeah, it just comes like right off the bone, man. It's pretty good. Nice. You'd never guess it, but it tastes like lemon, pepper, and salt. <laughs> a little buttery too. <laughs> Alright, so final verdict. That was pretty friggin' delicious. We're gonna have to do that one again. Well, thanks for watching.